All right, so I have no script. I'm just going to do it as I go. So let's just say you downloaded your free copy of San Andreas, but you just found out that it is not compatible with mods. And you can't downgrade it because the launcher itself is going to keep fucking you over by auto-updating and deleting all the work that you've done to downgrade the version that it gave you. What I'm going to show you is I never had San Andreas before. I just got it. When I found out that they were giving out a free copy, and what you're going to see is I was actually able to get mods on my version of San Andreas. I'm going to load it up just so, I, you know, just so you can see I'm not full of shit. Bum, 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 bum. Get a little bit of load time. All right, so we're going to go right. So as you can see here, that is what you're missing. The version that is on the Rockstar Launcher, it is not Mac mod compatible at all. Neither is the Steam version. But what I was able to do is, using my free version of San Andreas, I was actually able to get Mod Loader installed. And uh, let me see if I can show you right here. Don't have any, I just got it today, so of course I don't have a lot of mods. But you know, uh, three, you know, a lot better than nothing. And I'm gonna actually start the game real quick, just to show you guys that it actually works. You know, you're not gonna see anything funny. You're, it's gonna be completely. The mouse is actually gonna function because I just found out um, the version on uh, the Rockstar Store. It's for whatever, whatever reason, is having Five. problems with mouse detection. So, as you can see here, it's completely working. It's uh, fine. It looks good. Uh, the screen, uh, the camera isn't spinning like the version on um, the Rockstar Launcher. It is. Uh, it's completely functional. Okay, just so that I can give you guys the most clear and straightforward process of how to go through everything, I'm going to start from scratch. So, uh, obviously, the first thing you're going to want to do is go, you're going to want to download the launcher. You're going to want to claim your free game, and then you're going to want to install it. All right, so we installed the game for free which is what i like once you're done installing the game you're pretty much done with the store at this point because you're not going to use it to actually launch san andreas from now on but just in case we're going to head down to where it says my installed games you can see here where it says on uh enable automatic updates and where it says enable cloud saves i'm i turn both of these off just in case in the future let's say there's ever a sale i want to check out maybe they're going to give away another free game you're not going to want the storefront to have pretty much anything to do with your files because it gets pretty damn annoying when it deletes or replaces anything that it thinks is modified. All right, so now with the store out of the way, you're going to head to where you installed the game. Notice that I installed it in a very specific hard drive. I do that for organizational purposes. If let's say you don't know where the game installed for whatever reason, you're just going to head down here. Uh, where it says view installation folder, you're going to open that up and it'll take you to um, where the game is installed. So what you see here, this specific executable file, you're going to notice that is a different executable file from the Steam version, which is a different version of the real tour version of 1.0. That's the one that we want. The issue with this executable file is a little bit harder to work with than the Steam version from when I heard. I heard, um, you know, uh, a couple of forums that they tried using the the tool, the, the downgrade tool, to turn this version back into the original 1.0, the one that's compatible with mods, and it gave them trouble. So what I ended up doing was, close out this, I looked it up on Google and I did come to a site that just so happened to be giving out the Steam version of the executable file as a sort of a way to fix the camera, uh, you know, the spinning camera shit that was been going on. So I'm just gonna head here. I'm going to save it. I think I already should be in my downloads. Yep, download a couple times actually. Let me see. You're gonna open up in folders. Okay. So now that we have, we're going to essentially self-patch it ourselves instead of using an auto tool. 
So what you're going to see here is the version on the Rockstar store is about 5,500 bytes. Let me see. You can tell the difference in the file size. Yep, look at it right here. Uh, 5,500, 5,800. The difference in file size is going to let you know which one's the Steam version, which one was the version that was given free out on the, um, on the Rockstar store. There we go, having a bit of mouse trouble there. It's a bit broken, I should probably change that in the future. So now we have two executable files, you don't need both. As a matter of fact, you're not going to want to touch this one anymore. If you do try and run uh, San Andreas through this executable, it's going to open up the store and it's just going to be a mess. Uh, if you want to keep it, go ahead. Um, if you want to create a backup, I guess you can do that too, you know, just in case uh, you ever... I mean, more is more if you ask me, so uh, I'm going to create back up. And you're going to move, remember, 5,500. Uh, 5, that is the version that we don't want. I'm going to move that to back up. All right, so now we have the essentially the Steam version of San Andreas, which is also not compatible with mods. But the thing about the Steam version is it's a lot easier to downgrade that one to the 1.0 version that we're all looking for. There you go. So you can find a link to the downgraded tool. I'll, put, I'll probably put this one um, up uh, down in descriptions. Now I click this. So that one's just showing you the picture. Okay, here's the link. Uh, that was my bad. Yes, sir. There we go. These, this is what we're looking for. We're gonna download the full package, baby. We're going, we're going big. Or we're going, we're going big. We're going home. All right. So once you download the downgrade tool, I'm gonna extract it to the downloads because I like to be organized or claim to be. Download it right there, nice and quick, just like how I like it. Now let's go check it out. Bam, bam, bam. Now over here. Um, there we go. I'm going to run that. Yes, don't worry, your computer is not going to get eight. At least I hope not. There we go, click yes. Yes, I would. I would like to update. Yes. Now we're using 1.4. I will let you, don't worry, I know where it is. It is Rockstar. Yeah. There we go, this is, remember, uh, 5800. This is the easy part, it does all the work for you. Okay, so once the downgrader is ready for confirmation, you're gonna wanna select all the modifications you want. Uh, these are mods that will make a modded GTA go more smoothly. I'm going to select everything except the multiplayer. I'm going to hit downgrade, uh, yes. Let me see where I want it, ah, right here. This would be a good place. Okay, so now this is everything that we downloaded up to this point. What you're going to want to do is now that you have a bunch of executables, a bunch of indies, a bunch of files here that was downloaded from the downgradable, we're going to want to replace the old files. So this is, if you remember this, is uh, what the files that we downloaded from the rock uh, from the storefront. This is the file that we downloaded online, the Steam executable that replaces the one that we got from the store, the shitty one. And everything else you see here, all everything else came from the downgrade tool. What we're gonna want to do now is fucking dump everything, dump, dump everything, bro, everything. Dump all that shit, bro. 
replace all these old files. Uh, you can skip the readme if you want. I already read it. Dump all this shit in there, my mans. Hell yes, I do. Okay. So by now, you're gonna you have everything you need to play your free version of GTA San Andreas that you got from the Rockstar Store with mods. And even you're, you'll notice that the one of the, two of the executable files are missing. That's because I put them right there in the backup folder, you know, just to be organized. You don't really don't have to, but um, it's always nice to make backups, you know, and your backups for your backups. So, anyways, let's test it out. Oof, see if it works. Come on, baby. Oh fuck! See, when that happens, um, don't worry. That is actually a fucking very common. Thing, uh, that can be fixed well by sort of uh, let me see if I can fix it real quick ten, uh, ten, 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 ten. Uh, Hopefully, by manually changing the, um, the resolution, it should save it, so that way I wouldn't have to change it manually in the future. Ooh, there we go. So, you got San Andreas for free, and now you can mod it. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'd say I'll tell you to subscribe, but I don't. <laughs> I'm not a consistent uploader. So if you liked it, leave a like. Anyways, uh, enjoy the nostalgia, man. You got to play San Andreas for free with mods.